Now I'm going to give you a breathing exercise which is going to be used to help strengthen the muscles in the center of the body. Now we can't uh, separate the muscles in the center of the body. In this exercise we're going to be using all the muscles. Now I'll say right from the beginning that remember that the, the uh, uh, physical movements you're going to be using in this exercise, except for the fact you're going to use your diaphragm to breathe with, will not be what you're going to be doing when you sing. This exercise is only to help strengthen the midsection muscles, okay? Now by having these muscles strong, it uh, sort of psychologically gives you a good feeling. When you take a breath using your diaphragm, you have a feeling of power down there, you see, okay? And this exercise that I'm going to give you is going to help strengthen these muscles down here. Now this exercise is a repetitive exercise and re repetition uh, sometimes can lead to boredom. Uh, uh, you do the same exercise every day and if you aren't careful, the tendency will be to become bored with the exercise and not do it anymore, okay? Uh, I mentioned during the course of this uh, uh, technique that the midsection and the head have to work hand in hand. Uh, now if you don't do this breathing exercise down here, then you're not going to progress as quickly as you would like to because it's like a man trying to swim with one leg. He can get to the end of the pool eventually, but he'll get there a lot faster if he has two legs, you see. Uh, so the point is that you're going to do this exercise to help strengthen these muscles. It's a repetitive exercise, but it's very, very important, very necessary in this technique because it, it goes hand in hand with the involvement of the technique as far as the head is concerned, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to put your finger uh, right above, uh, right in the middle of your body, right there. Just put your finger there, okay? Now, by having your finger there, um, as far as you're concerned, this is where the breath is going to go into your body, down there, okay? And not only that, by having your finger there, you have some idea of how much expansion you get when you use your diaphragm, okay? Now you're going to imagine that the breath is going, uh, you're going to inhale your breath, it's going to go right down into that upper abdomen, right down here, okay? Now you're going to purse your lips as if you're going to whistle, okay? And you're going to inhale breath through that tiny little hole in the center of your lips, and you're going to imagine that you have a balloon or an inner, tire, inner tube down here in the midsection, and you're going to try and fill up that balloon with the breath that you're inhaling into your body. Now, make a sound when you inhale the breath inward so you can f hear the breath going in, like this. Okay, and you'll feel your body swell up like that. Now, you try that, okay? That's it. Now you notice how your body expanded and swelled outwards like that? Okay, all right, now that's the first part of the exercise. Second part of the exercise is you're going to keep your lips pursed as if you're going to whistle, and you're going to expel the breath in three expulsions. The first two will be quite short. The last one you will expel all the breath until most of it's gone from your lungs, to illustrate. You're going to go until all the breath is gone. Now don't make these first two sh too short. In other words, don't go like that. Mm -hmm. Go Now here comes the hard part. You're going to imagine that you have a coin taped to your abdomen under your finger there, and you're going to try and touch that coin up against your backbone by pulling with the muscles of the front of the body back toward the backbone to try and touch that coin against your backbone mm -hmm. in three pulls to match the three inhalations. Here are the pulls. You're going to go one, two, and then pull like that till you feel all the muscles in the center of your body tighten up and you feel all the muscles in the small of your back tighten up like a fist being clenched, okay? Mm -hmm. all right. And in other words, you're going to have two short pulls. One, hold it there, don't let it back out again. Hold it there, pull, like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to combine the exhalations with the pulls. Here's the whole exercise, watch. I take a breath using my diaphragm, fill up the balloon. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to blow out and pull in, two short and one long, and coincide the, the, the uh, expulsions with the pulls. And you will feel all the muscles in about 17 inches wide, right across there, tighten up like that, and the muscles in the small of your back. Okay, now be very careful, because the tendency may be to bend in the middle when you pull in, to go and all you're doing is bending your body, you know, your body, your, your, your body's in there. In other words, when you sing, it's necessary that you keep the rib cage lifted, okay? Mm -hmm. In other words, if you're going to do anything with your shoulders, you pull down on your shoulders as if you're trying to touch your hands on the floor, okay? That arches the chest, lifts the rib cage, and when you take a breath using your, your, your breathing muscles or your diaphragm, you go, you got a powerhouse down there. But if you stand like most people do, you know, sort of relaxed, mm -hmm. and you take a breath using your diaphragm and you get the expansion, it's like a wet dish rag. It's like a, a jellyfish down there, you see, okay? So keep, I'll, I'll illustrate by putting my finger on the point of my ribs right there, okay? Now when I breathe and I pull in, you won't see that finger move at all, watch. Now watch. In the same place, right? Okay. So watch the tendency to bend in the middle. You want to keep your body stand tall like a dancer, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and and keep the the rib cage up, okay? Mm -hmm. Now you try that. Let's see. Now take your breath in, suck the breath in, fill up your balloon slowly. Don't be in a hurry with this exercise. Do it slowly. Mm -hmm. Suck in the breath. Good. Now you're going to blow out and pull in. I'm going to push a little bit just to help. Okay, good, now, hold it, hold it, pull, 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 don't bend, don't bend, don't bend, don't bend. Okay, there you are, okay? <laughs> now, this exercise has to be done every day. Uh, it's necessary because the repetition, of course, is what's going to be uh, involved in building up the muscles. Um, it should be done at the same time every day because what you want to have happen is you want to have this exercise develop into a habit. And the best way to develop anything into a habit is to do it at the same time every day. Now I found the best time to do this exercise was in the morning when I got up out of bed. Several reasons. I had sleep, I had had several hours sleep. I did the exercise before I had my breakfast, which meant I didn't have any food down in my stomach here to make myself uncomfortable when I was pulling in. But the most important part of this exercise it, it was that by getting uh, extra oxygen, oxygen into my bloodstream through deep breathing, it woke me up in the morning. See? You start out life with a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole secret in life is positive attitude or positive thinking. If you start out in life with a positive attitude, the chances are you're going to succeed. And this exercise will help with that. It will get that extra oxygen into your blood, causing you to wake up in the morning and feel great and feel good. You walk out into the life as if you're going to conquer all the dragons, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the important thing is that you do it every day, 20, a minimum of 20 a day. Now, don't try and do 20 all at once, because if you do 20 all at once after the first 10, you become so hyperventilated, you'll get lightheaded and you'll probably faint, you see? Do them in groups of five. Do five, relax for two or three minutes. Do another five, relax, another five, until you get a minimum of 20 exercises done. Now, you can do more. It would be to your benefit to do more, but I don't want any less than 20 of the exercises, okay? Every day at the same time, preferably in the morning, okay? Mm -hmm. 